Hello and good morning, people. It's time to wake up to your daily dose of TV goodness. Hmm. You make it sound like a drug. Yeah, we but... need us. You need us. <laughs> we are glad to be here as always. Uh, okay, yeah, to nourish your mind. Hmm. <laughs> nourish your mind with all things information. Informi yeah. Informational. Yeah. and entertaining just to give you something special every single day everybody's going back to work yeah what the holiday was nice and sweet mm -hmm. but it's over it's everybody over. has to get that little get back start. to work on tuesday mm -hmm. morning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um of course we all wish the holidays could continue but you know how it is yeah well we can be together through the whole duration of the show if you have to uh, get back to work today uh, thanks to social media so we're streaming live on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook. You can look us up on TVC Connect. For comments, make sure you use our hashtag, WakeUpNigeria. My name is Titi Laya Oinson. And I'm Yomi Ope. Let's not forget that we are looking forward to a great breakfast this morning. And uh, Chef Tina is going to be joining us later on. Yeah. But right now, we have uh, Mary in the kitchen. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mary is always, always like, she was ready. Yeah. Good morning, how you doing? So, you know, Mary, these shoes you've been wearing of recent, it's No, this one isn't very high. It's, it's not very high. You, but you know something, <laughs> all four of us stood together yeah. just about a minute ago and I felt like a giant. Yep, you're tall. Mary standing on stilts. <laughs> Mary on stilts. Okay. Also, uh, the Kellogg's Easter Challenge is still on. It ends tomorrow, mm. so don't forget that. Okay, so Kellogg's Easter Challenge is here. It's for you. And of course, Kellogg's will be gifting 10 families this Easter season with one month supply of Kellogg's cornflakes and Cocoa Pops. One whole month. Can you beat that? Like really? One whole month. So we're and, gonna be supplying um, you Kellogg's cornflakes and Kellogg's Cocoa Pops. It's really easy to for, win. For a family. So family of five, family of six, mm -hmm. you know, we'll give you that whole month supply. You need to record a video of yourself and your family singing the Kellogg song. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hear it before long. And uh, make sure you upload video on Instagram using the hashtags Kellogg's Easter Challenge, Wake Up Nigeria, and of course, make sure you CC at TVC Connect. Yeah. Now, of course, you have to be following us as well. Of course. Now, yeah, you, I'm just you saying. You also need to get your family and your friends to like the video. Mm -hmm. And of course, once they like the video, the, vi the 10 videos with the highest likes will be selected to have breakfast with Kellogg's on Friday. That's this Friday. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, the 6th of April. Uh, in the morning. And that, that's when they'll pick up their boxes. Yeah, so, the, so your whole month supply. So it could be, in. depending on how large your family is. So the videos but, have been coming in quite a bit and yeah. uh, we, we need time to, of course, check the submissions. So the, it'll close on Wednesday, that's tomorrow. Yeah, uh, by 2 p.m. Yeah, 2 p.m. to give us time to go through the videos. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So anyway, so uh, now that we're done with that, let's mm -hmm. go straight to this morning's highlights. So much for you on the show. We'll be starting with tech. And of course, there's going to be a discussion on websites where we can learn and acquire degrees. Bella Rose Okoje will be here. She'll be with Mike on that one. Mm -hmm. And we'll also be having a musical performance for you. Tosi Alao will be doing that. Still to come on the show is a parenting discussion with Izefua about sibling rivalry. If you remember two weeks ago, we started that discussion. Yeah, very yeah. important one. Mm -hmm. And Olayemi, a.k.a. Honeypot, will be bringing us the scoop on the happenings in the world of entertainment. Well, she's already getting her makeup done. Yeah, wow. So, yeah. Uh, how do you know that, Yomi? Because <laughs> I saw her in the makeup room. <laughs> Yomi, you do makeup? Yeah, you do yeah. makeup? <laughs> For Yomi? people like us that don't do. <laughs> Who are the What do we now do? What is yes, I get my makeup like done. And <laughs> foundation, my eyebrows, everything. How come you're sweating on your nose? Are you telling lies like Pinocchio? No. Uh, Mike, I'm actually why are you not this like light. I'm actually pretty dark. You didn't do makeup. You this didn't do makeup. I didn't do. Really? I was not there. Did you see me? Really? I came in and Titi hmm. like Titi took like, over the you whole You know I'm usually wow. the first person in the makeup. No, no, wait, by I the way, see things. By the way, Mary's always there, and so Mary, Mary's like 
yeah. say 35 minutes it is like 37 uh, really? 37 minutes 20 seconds and how you know this i have no <laughs> I idea i wish i wish <laughs> okay but so we a, started our discussion we'll yeah. make up this one guys uh, but on a sadder like, note yeah. on a sadder note um we you know we got the news yesterday that um Winnie mandela passed on yeah oh. and uh, yeah. she was just such a phenomenal individual she phenomenal was well person loved, her yeah. husband. loved by everyone around the world freedom fighter um, amazing yeah. An activist, mm. you know, fighting for the rights of black South Africans. For those that don't know, she, you know, she was the one that basically took up the cause for Mandela while he was in prison. In, in prison, mm -hmm. yeah. It was okay, a you know, kind I of have, sad down the line. I have, that, I have two um, things about this and uh, don't get too angry, just mm. my views. Number mm. one, is it sad really? She's 81. Yeah. Um, she passed on at 81. So I think more uh, is a celebration of what she stood for, celebration of life. Yeah. Number okay. two, she was quite a very controversial figure mm -hmm. in That's South true. Africa. Very, very controversial. That's true. There are a number of things that she was accused of a number of things, even as far as even murder. Mm. And torture, yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. torture. Mm -hmm. you know, but then, you know, when someone passes on, we mm -hmm. tend to look at what good, good things, things that the person did. stood for. So mm -hmm. But the truth is, you know, so when, when they me. say someone is fighting for something, yeah. a lot of the, the methods they use could be questionable. Yes. But then mm -hmm. it depends mm -hmm. on what they're fighting for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in the end, what they were fighting against was worse than the murder or any of the torture that she could have tortured mm -hmm. if, you know, ha you know, hypothetically she did. I don't yeah. know if mm -hmm. it's true or not. But whatever the case may be, though, what, what counts is this. There are some t the, as you said, there are times mm -hmm. we have to use certain measures to achieve mm -hmm. certain goals. Mm -hmm. let's not, let's not tell. However, yeah. <laughs> let's, not, <laughs> let's not vindicate <laughs> measures like that. We are not vindicating uh, <laughs> it. Yeah. No, we are not vindicating it. Yeah. They are not, they are very naughty things you've done before that you're not proud of. Mm. That is yeah, that's naughty. Right? That's but naughty, but yeah. this one. <laughs> Killing somebody's not not you. Okay, so <laughs> now, but you apartheid is over because yeah. of yeah. individuals apartheid is like over. her. Yeah, yeah. Life, so life is no, supposed but, to go on. But my on point now. is that I, I put Let's a post yesterday and I said, mm -hmm. hey, come on, understand that this is more of a celebration of life than yeah. being sad. Mm -hmm. With so good, that. good, 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 good. Yeah, so yeah. Nobody wants to lose R.I.P. Winnie Mandela. Mandela. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So don't forget the Kellogg's Challenge. Make sure that you uh, participate in it. It ends tomorrow yeah. at uh, 2 p.m. It's, it's uh, the headline in the papers. You're me and Titi have you on that one. All right. Thanks so much, Mike. We're starting with the Vanguard this morning and the headline. Obasanjo attacks Buhari again. Accuses his government of being incompetent, ineffective. This is unfair of Obasanjo. He should put things into perspective, says the APC. Uh, and of course, uh, one or two other writers there. Why are looters? Why our names shouldn't be on looters' list? Says Aliu Igali and Fanny Coyote. Uh, LA Lagos State Government commissions 19 roads in Alimosho, and federal government accuses Benin Republic Cameroon of undermining rice revolution. Security breach. Senate committee indicts EFCC. Uh, 29 die, 83 injured as troops clash with terrorists in Borno. And Senator held hostage by irate constituents freed by soldiers. And finally, Oshibajo assures of Leia Sharibu's safe return. All on the cover of the Vanguard. The cover of the nation says, big row over looters list. Who said what? Uh, according to Kayamo, Aliu, and Fanny Kayo, they also right there on the cover. Lawyers disagree. Ex-minister, ex-governor defend integrity. It also says here there are tributes to Winnie Mandela, uh, who died at age 81 yesterday. Yobe Khan prays for Dapchi schoolgirl Leah on page 41. Um, also, it says Lagos connects Ogun with 21 roads and two bridges. There's a picture of the Lagos State Governor addressing the crowd at uh, the commissioning at Ayetoro Bridge. And uh, there's a big, big crowd there, very happy looking crowd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, on the $500 million Abacha loot, Okunjo Iwiala to explain withdrawal of about 250 million of the 500 million uh, that uh, was recovered. And then finally, 20 killed in Borno suicide attack. That's what it says on the cover of the nation. Uh, the Daily Sun has the headline, Federal Government Under Fire Over Alleged Looters List. Ex-Governor Aliyu threatens court action. Buhari also got money from former NSA's office, says Fan Fanny Coyote and uh, other uh, writers there. Winnie Mandela, curtain falls on South African apartheid struggle heroine. And uh, again, Obasanjo rules out APC, PDP. IPOB opposes proposed amnesty to Boko Haram. 
30 million naira employment scandal rocks federal capital territory revenue agency. And finally, UN laments as Boko Haram kills 18 in Borno, all on the cover of the Daily Sun. And that's all we have time for for the newspaper headlines for now. And of course, the newspaper headlines are proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. So Mike is ready with Benjamin this morning. We have our fitness, fitness routine, not fitness, fitness routine up next. Mike, how's it going out there? All right, Titi, it is Benjamin is with Mike. It's not Mike with Benjamin. Anyway, how are you doing, Benj? Yeah, very good. All right, so what do you have for us this morning? What we have today, it's the Gladiator Workout. I said it. Yeah. <laughs> has brought name. What's the theme name now? Okay, Gladiator Workout, right? Yeah, Gladiator Workout. Okay, so workout, what so. does this consist of? Yeah, it consists of, um, like, as usual, total body workout. Okay. But this will require your, this will require more endurance, more stamina, more strength. All right, so guys, are you ready for the gladiator yeah. workout? Yeah. Yep. All right, take it away. Okay. So the first, we are starting with jump turn. Jump turn. So we're going this way. One, two, three. So that's how we're going. So this exercise, you can do it 25, 25 or four sets, that's 100. So guys, are we ready? All right, come on, let's go. One, let's go, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, the next exercise is jumping jacks. But this jumping jacks is touch from feet to up. Are you ready? Let's go. Position this way, this way, like this. Watch me. You go this way and this way. Are you ready? One, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and stop. Now the next exercise we're going to do is the jump lunge. The jump lunge will go this way, starting with the right foot. We're going this way. One, two, three. Now this exercise you jump as high as you can. Guys, are we ready? Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now you change to the other leg. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now the next exercise. We're doing Spider-Man push-up. Spider-Man walking push-up. Are you guys ready? Position. Position. Are you ready? Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, and that's it. Let's get back to our positions. Now, if you have enough space, maybe you can do this in your sitting room. You walk with the push-up. It's called Spider-Man push-up. Now, the next exercise we're going to be doing is the side-to-side -side jump. One leg squat. We're going this way. One. Two, three, four. Guys, are you ready? All right, come on, let's take it on. We started, we're going to the right first. One, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yeah. So what were we able to achieve with all of this? 
Wow, this is very cute. This is killing. I must tell you. How do you guys feel? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> you're, you're, okay. You're from right, your cool. left, so from total your legs. Body. Yeah, from your legs to the core. All right. Then to the upper body. All right. Rick, we really, we really, really, really. Uh, it's, thank, it's, you thank you very cool. much. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's head over to the kitchen. Of course, Mary uh, is on standby with uh, Chef Tina this morning. What's up, guys? What do you have for us in the kitchen? Thank you very much, Mike. You are welcome to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And I know you see the spread, but I'm not the one cooking. I've got <laughs> Chef Tina with me. I'm not alone, definitely. Uh, she will be making today's meal. Uh, good morning, Chef Tina. Good morning. Ah, you're always glowing. <laughs> Who would have believed that you went through so much traffic and stress to get here this morning? What happened? Thank it's God. unlike you to be late. What mm. happened? Was there a lot of traffic? Yeah, there was traffic. A lot of it. A lot of traffic. You Tell know, me yesterday you was public all the day. Yeah. And you know, a lot of people might have just gone somewhere. And this morning, they're just trying to make it down to the office. So it was really, really terrible. At a point, I had to come down from the car and I had to mount a bike. You mounted a bike, yes, but you didn't have this sacks on. No. Oh, because we'd have had to <laughs> run after it, try to retrieve no. it. No. <laughs> but it's, it's great to have you here. Mm -hmm. What are we making? Hmm. Hmm. We're making yam and um, mint meat sauce this morning. Yam and minced meat sauce. sauce. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. What breakfast? Let's uh, go over the ingredients. Okay, we have a uh, yam. We have our uh, minced meat. Okay. Uh, tomato puree. Okay. We have a fresh tomato, red bull, pepper, okay. carrots, cucumber, then, and um, green, green pepper, pepper, onions. Onions. We have our butter. We have a seasoning okay. cube, curry thyme, and I have a special seasoning Come here. With this your special <laughs> seasoning. Okay. I actually made it up. Then we're going to make use of them oil also. Oil, okay. Yeah. Uh, the ingredients are on your screen right now. Uh, We're making yam and uh, minced meat sauce, okay? Uh, so you can check uh, the ingredients on your screen right now. Uh, apologies for that one. It's a mix-up, but don't worry. We'll bring you the correct ingredients shortly. Mm. All right, so let's get started. Okay. What's the first thing we're doing? We're making our yam first. The yam being in this shape, is it deliberate? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I want it that way. Cooking being an art. Mm -hmm. You have to be peel creative. Peel the yam. <laughs> then now start cutting it into... <laughs> Everybody in my family would have decided to just go and eat something else, like bread that is easy to eat now. You know now. <laughs> okay. Oh is yam. there a purpose for this? Is it just for the look or so it can boil quickly or there's a reason? Um, the other day I was talking, I said um, there's something about food, yeah. you know, um, being creative, you understand? And a special way of actually serving your dishes, you know, yeah. it, you feel like, oh, I'm in a five-star hotel, do you understand? In your house? Yes, now. Yeah. feel like that and, you know, it's very good when we do things and... The presentation really matters. You know, if you eat five star hotel in your house every day. M Mary, can I tell you something? Yeah, eh? I like. I like. Know. I like having it in a very nice way. You understand? You it's don't not have to break the bank. Mm -hmm. It's not. Um, oh, what are we eating today? And you just go pam 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 pam. You know. Practical. Practical. I went to visit my cousin, and she wanted to give the husband noodles, and I noticed she started cooking it in a plate you know made it very nice she, she was not noodles like, in a plate yes. for you to have that yes. conical shape yes she was not like ah, i'm following you the way it is you know that um i see you you don't just cut ever you know and just pa pa inside Slap the plate, the thing you know, on the plate, and the plate. there's now. a way you there are times i will roll the you know like that the eba. <laughs> and when you see with soup if you don't feel like eating there's this crave like wow this is really, really I fantastic. I want to dig into this. You know so. Okay, so the yam balls for how long? Uh, time for yam. Mm. I always say something. No you, time. You, yes. I, I no time because when that. you say five minutes, what if it doesn't get cooked at that five minutes? Sure. What happens? You know, at the close of the ah, chef told me oh, it's five minutes five and minutes. I've been spending 15 minutes in the kitchen. So what I'm matters? Be, okay. What, what matters, matters most is your timing, the way your the heat. 
you have. If you have slow heat, you know, things will be slow. And if your heat is fast, there are some things like you don't... Like this one now, it's picking up fast. Fast. And maybe, let's say in five minutes, it's ready. Okay. You know, so the good thing about what, what you do is don't follow. I tell them, even when I, 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 I train in baking, I said, see, my own can come up better, but what about yours? You know, you keep learning each day and you're like, okay, let's just try out something. You know, and you, when you try out other things, you see it really comes up better at the close of the day. Don't just stay in your comfort zone and you don't be the type that like, what will I do with this? When I have the smile on my face, <laughs> I have something mischievous. <laughs> so I was looking at this and I was just thinking, we serve the seasoning cube no. with the yam. No. Let's go on a commercial <laughs> break now. We'll be back uh, with a tech discussion just for you. Stay with us. It's Wake Up Nigeria. So, mm -hmm. Chef Tina didn't buy my idea of using the cubes. <laughs> I thought it would look, you know, look really nice and taste even horrible. <laughs> All right, you're welcome back to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. And today we're making yam and minced meat sauce. The ingredients are on your screen. No, don't worry. The correct ones. Just check it out. Uh, yam and minced meat sauce. So, you get to write out the ingredients and follow us as we prepare this. The yam, of course, is uh, boiling. Mm -hmm. uh, Chef Tina is busy cutting up the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like to see you do it in cubes. She'll be uh, doing <laughs> rectangular and cube today. <laughs> She's actually doing it. Mm. Somebody cannot play with you. Uh -uh. I was just playing. Uh. Uh -uh. You just have to show yourself. Mm. Chef, chef. Comments reserved. No, don't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So when the yam is ready, I want to make the minced meat sauce. Uh, what's the process like? There's a pot here. You pour oil. Yes. Then I use my onions. Okay, the onions, the onions going, going first. first okay. Yes. Then my seasoning cube. Onions, then seasoning cube. Just little of the seasoning cube because you know, most of our meat has salt in it. True. So yeah. little of it. Then okay. the next thing that goes in is my... Um, tomato, tomato puree. puree, then my pepper. I'm going to also chop the pepper. So when you're chewing it, uh, when you're eating your yam, you feel that hotness in it. Okay. So, feel the hotness in it. Okay. So, then, this go... Yeah, this... At what point does this go in? I said, when I put this, this one will go next. Okay. So, so, all the tomatoes at the same time, at the same before time, this? Before the pepper. Okay. Then much later, I'll add my minced meat. Minced meat. Yes. Way before you include these. the other vegetables. The cucumber is going into the sauce. Uh, hold on. <laughs> All this hold on. Sir. When we are not young, you are singing. Okay, no problem. We'll get there. So, but the carrot and the green pepper. It. They will go in. They're going They're in. Going in yes. Okay. They're going in. Yam and minced meat sauce. sauce. Yeah. Mm. Would you say minced meat sauce is the best thing to eat so, yam with? You can use anything. Me, I like eating yam with <laughs> palm oil. With palm oil? Yes. You put a bit of salt in it. And then you fry it maybe with um, onions. Oh, you have to fry the palm oil? With onions, yes. Why do you fry the palm oil? If you want to... I, uh, this, I the, the ingredients are on your screen right now. Okay, you can check them out. I like that um, local way of um, yam. Then if I don't do that, this is my best... After that one, I go for this very one. Mm. If everybody has yam and palm oil, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh God! Okay, you, really... you didn't talk about the seasonings though. At one point, are they going in? They will go maybe shortly after the vegetable. Okay. I said little. Um, Onion. Little, no, little seasoning cubes. Seasoning okay, cube. so it's not just the seasoning cubes. The spices going on. Yes, well. the spices will go. You didn't mention that now. Okay, sorry about that. No, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's really going the cube way to do. Mm -hmm. ah, ice cube things. I love kitchen. I can tell. I can tell. Wow. So, if, it, if I want to make, like, you know, we have minced meats. Mm -hmm. We do so many interesting things with minced meats. Yeah. Uh, would it be okay to put egg in it? Like mm -hmm. fried egg, it's all yeah, right. Yeah, it's all right. 
Okay. It's all right. So I can do anything I want to do. You with can it. do anything you want to do with Miss Meat. Yeah. You can if you if you if you like, you can maybe chop up onions in it, big chunks of it in it. Anything you want. So it's chewy. Yeah. With the onions as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Lots of onions, maybe like two onions in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, how many people will this serve? Hmm. Dayo, hmm. Two. Two people? Yeah, two. Okay. The sauce will serve more than two people. Yes, yeah. the sauce will serve more but than two people. But the yam, we the understand. Yam, just because two. There's something called would you cook? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you just have to eat a bit of this because yeah. the salt content already in this mm -hmm. is enough for you it's to enough. Yeah. want to relax. Yes. Okay. So are we starting now? Uh, oh no, you still have to cut the onions. Yes, I still have to cut because the onions. Because the onions going first yeah. into the oil. Yes. Okay. All right. One interesting thing about onions, especially it's uh, th these are tips and tricks that we learn every day. You could actually put your onions in the refrigerator for a few minutes, and that would reduce, you know, having to have um, um, water coming from your eyes. Besides that, you could also chew gum. For those who love gum, have you observed that when you're chewing gum and cutting onions, you don't <laughs> feel that uh, sensation in your eyes as you would normally? Yes, that's one of the tricks you could use when you're cutting onions. As for us, we just cut it like this. <laughs> is it ready? Yeah. <laughs> but at the end of the day, the most important thing is to have the onions ready. So what's your own trick? <laughs> you just cut it like that. You're just used cut. To I'm used to onions. Mm. Bad, I'm bad used to bad. it. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell maybe my staff to cut onions, you see them going, ah. I'm like, when you're used to it, you're used to it. And one thing I love, about onions, that cube yeah, shape. My eyes are your, <laughs> you to see what we have for Nothing. The cube, the Nothing. cube shape. Nothing. I love it because um, if you have people that don't like onions, before you finish cooking, everything might have melted in maybe what you're making. Mm -hmm. So I go with the cube shape. But there are times, maybe the round type. I'm not the, the one cutting the onions, I'm the one in tears. <laughs> okay, I'm going to continue. I'm listening. <laughs> you know, so I like it. Keep it shape. I'm still looking at your eyes. Though. Nothing, Mary. <laughs> Don't waste your time. <laughs> Tears won't come out. I'd expect they would. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she actually went through it without. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait for her to put all of this together. I really can't wait. We're making yam and minced meat sauce. And as they say, the end justifies the means. Mm -hmm. It's time to head to the garden for a musical performance uh, from Tosin Alao. Uh, so I need you to stay with us right here on Wake Up Nigeria. So after the onions, what are you doing next? My palm, my um, vegetable oil. The vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need so, oil now. As I said, we're going now uh, to have a performance from Tosin Alao in the garden. Stay with us at Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you, Mary. I am here with veteran gospel artist Tosnalao. It's great to have you this Thank morning, you. sir. Okay, so he's going to be performing for us. So just chill wherever you are, sit back and relax and enjoy this performance. All right? Take it away, sir. Titi Ayemini, Mafiguru Korega, Iwasha Lolonumi, Olonu. Titi Ayemini. My figure is correct. You wash all along me. All along me. Mori Yanu. Motiri Wosong. Emitiri Bala. Ninu Ayemi. Jesus share good for me. Otu Missile. Ninu Ibe Kumi. Tile Tile Mi. Ko solorun bi re laye atorun laye atorun ko masio e ba mi gbolo wa tobi e keke bi esire o e ba mi gbo shuba fun oba won oba titi aye mi ni ma fi gboru korega iwo sha lolorun 
Titi ayemini, ma fi boru korega, iwo sha lolorumi, olorumi, mi uriru eri yo, olorumi, shubon mo fi lere, mi uriru eri yo, olorumi, shubon mo badun re. I have assurance. I have assurance. Titi ayemi, ma fi buru korega, iwo shalolorumi, olorumi. One great one, wonderful, wonderful, great performance there. Now, uh, but just one question before we move on. I know we're going to be talking to you later on, but how does one, how does one manage to stay so relevant for so long in a particular industry? Well, um, it takes your consistency and your dedication and your God. You know, in your road to life, there are so many patches, there are so many things, but your consistency actually comes from your mind. Okay. what you want to do because definitely there will be a lot of obstacles yeah, sure, here sure. and there. But I think it has to do with your mind and what you want to achieve in life, you know, your mm. purpose, your fulfillment. You know, and fulfillment by my own definition has to do with not the fame, not the money, but the consistency of the work of heart and who you want to reach out to. Because why I said so, if the money never comes, are you going to bail out? Mm. If the fame isn't coming, isn't coming, exactly. are you going to bail out? So that's why I said it has to do with your mind and your purpose and your God's life. Now, that's something that a lot of young people go out for, even in the gospel um, sector and all of that. that. The fame and the money, they want people to recognize them and they think that by fame and especially fame, that that's that, that success, is equated with success. What do you have to say about that? Honestly and practically, fame and success success with what you are doing they are two different things because it actually takes a while before you have fame mm. you know fame is a procedure of what you've been doing consistently you okay. know trying them fame doesn't just come okay. if we if we try and look at look into a lot of people that are extremely famous they've gone through several processes of sure. consistency walking what they're doing you know ups and down and everything so my my own definition of of success is actually a process. You must be processed. A goal must be well processed. Refined and right. all of that. And all right. of that. So what's, what's the word you give out to young artists there, young people who are in the entertainment industry, in the gospel industry? So that, what word would you want to give out to them so that they can keep their head down and until they get to that particular point where they should be? Well, my, 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 my word that I will give to young upcoming artists or anybody is that you need to stay focused, stay on your lane, keep doing what you're doing. Even when you think it's not coming, it's still going to come. It takes time. Everything takes process. You know, this life is not just a magic. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Wonderful. You. We're looking forward to we'll have much more time to talk with you and all Thank of you. that. And then we'll talk about your music. Thank you. What um, else you have for your fans and uh, people out there. Thank you. Okay. Don't go nowhere. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. We have a whole lot in store for you. There's entertainment news coming up. Of course, there's stuff happening in the kitchen. A whole lot. You don't want to miss what we have for you on Wake Up Nigeria. We're still on. You're welcome back to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. The moment of truth is finally here. Uh -huh. It's time to put everything together. As you can see, Chef Tina has been busy doing a lot of chopping and cutting and all, <laughs> making yam and minced meat sauce. sauce yeah. All right, so oil first, then onions, onions. as you said. Yeah. Okay. For how long is the onions going to fry? Maybe with how long? Yes, now. <laughs> I'm a Charlie Puth fan, so we, we tend to ask that question a lot. Two minutes, it's two okay. minutes. Yeah. Okay. You know, people always want to know how long they how should. How long? Yeah. Uh, how many of this they should put in? So. The onions is in it already. Then um, we just allow it to just fry a little bit. Okay. Then I, the next thing that I'll go the is tomatoes my and chopped the, tomatoes and, and the, the tomato puree. paste. Yeah. Like I rightly said, just yeah. little cube, um, seasoning cube, cube, little. The fear of cubes. 
Anytime the you reason why I'm adding uh, the cube, yeah. seasoning cube, you know, because I'm using all sorts yeah. in it. But if I'm not using that, maybe I just want to use the tomato um, mm -hmm. paste alone and this. I don't need to add seasoning cube. You won't even use anything? No, because this, this is salty. Very salty, true. Sure. Salty. Normally, minced meat. Salty. Packaged meat. Mm -hmm. Then the, one, the next one that is going in is your... Tomato. Okay. The oil is obviously hot enough hot to enough, have yeah. gotten the onions fried. So you just allow this to fry a little bit. Okay. Then you had your tomato paste. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Not yet. Just oh, so it's not going to be immediately. Not immediately. You're going to let the tomatoes fry, fry a bit a as well. Fry a bit, yeah. Okay. So you can take that um, slappy taste off. Okay. Just a little. Then the uh, tomato paste is just little also. Uh -uh. With everything in the plate? Mm, it's little. Wow. I could never have imagined. It's little. But we're not really making much sauce. Just little of it. Okay. I'm going to add little more to it. Right. It's coming out nice. That's my calculation. That's about, um, if you're buying the sachet version, that's about a sachet and the bits. Mm -hmm. So you could just use a sachet if you want. That's if you're buying the sachet version of the uh, tomatoes. So, the seasoning. Just a little. That's the rosemary spice one. Just little of it. Then so it won't be too curry. spicy. Yeah, little curry. Okay. You, you seem to like curry a lot in your dishes. Mm -hmm. I do. Oh, that was time. The rosemary hasn't gone in yet. Yes. Okay. We just allow it to simmer. Oh, this looks good already. Just for we don't even minutes. need the minced meat. This one is ready it's for ready the yam. It's ready for the yam, uh -uh. yeah. <laughs> we don't waste time. You know, all these kind of things. We just break like two eggs inside. <laughs> and good breakfast to Breakfast is ready, man. I'm going to add my... Pepper. Pepper now, okay. yes. Just a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. You're supposed to add enough for us to do. Oh no. I mean, I don't like pepper at all. Oh, you don't like pepper? I'm an ulcer patient. I'm mice. Oh. The peppered one. So. Life is a pot of beans, really. <laughs> so I don't like it. <laughs> Even touching it at times, I'm like, Ehh. you know, this is it for now. We just allow it maybe for a few minutes and the next thing that will go, go in is the... Yes. Are you still going to put the rosemary? I'll put rosemary. Okay. This needs fever. Then I would add just a little of my cinnamon. Okay. Little. Cinnamon in sauce. Mm, I love it. It's nice. So, at what point does this your special ingredients go in? When I'm about to bring my pot down. At the very last moment? Yes. Okay. Looks to me like the sauce is ready. Mm -hmm. Almost ready. Almost ready. Okay, let, let, let's quickly go over the ingredients again. We're making yam and uh, minced meat sauce. So, what are we making use of? Of course, we have our yam. We have our yam already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, um, minced meat. Fresh tomato, pepper, red bell pepper, Just onions. a minute. A minute. Uh, you can check your screen right now for the ingredients, especially if you missed one or two items earlier, so you catch up. Please go on. So you use the fresh pepper, tomato paste, um, the seasoning cubes. Mm -hmm. Carrots. Carrots, green pepper. Green pepper, and of course the spices. Then there's something we, did, we actually forgot. Okay. My butter beans. Your butter beans. Yes. Okay, so you're going to be putting in the butter beans as Later. well. Later. Okay. All right. Let, let, let's see what the butter beans look like. So the butter beans will be going into uh, our sauce. Just when you think you've seen it all with the minced meat, you hear there's another twist to it. Or this plot twist. Yeah. So this is what the butter beans looks like. See that. Those are the butter beans. This is I'm supposed to come before this or this before this? Because you it said this is the last one. It will come before this. Okay. Okay. So, so I've added my minced meat. Okay. What, what function has the 
um, beans with the sauce? Is it to give it the yam and beans feel? <laughs> yes. Oh. What I really want to do is just to preheat this a little bit and serve it by the side. Oh, so mm. this doesn't go into the it sauce? It doesn't go into ah. the sauce, yeah. Good thing I asked. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go into the sauce. Okay. So a little more of this. Good to go. Wondering. Now I understand what you meant by serves to. Mm. Well, let's go over to Mike now. Mike is with Honeypot for Entertainment Gist. Hi, Mike. All right, welcome. It's entertainment. It's about the best part of the show. And uh, of course, here to make it worth your while is Honeypot. <laughs> it's great to have you this morning. Good to be back here I this do. morning. Meanwhile, uh, Yumi was saying something about you spending so much time in makeup this morning. We're bantering about it much oh earlier. Oh, gosh. Like <laughs> don't really? mind us, don't mind us, don't mind us. <laughs> okay, so straight to it now. We're going to kick off with about the most controversial story in entertainment and politics in Nigeria. Okay. Now, I love when entertainment and politics, politics come together. Mix, because, right. yeah, that mix is always quite very, very hefty. So, Naomi Campbell, the British supermodel, is in Nigeria. Or, oh, yeah, she was in Nigeria. And um, there was a lot that was said about it because she was part of the people that received the president at the Eco Atlantic City. The first thing is, I think she's enjoying Nigeria. She's mm. having a ball. All right. So, no matter what you people say, even when they were talking about oh, who invited her, mm. uh, was it the president? Was it the Arise Fashion? You know, and yeah. all of this. It was just going back and forth, back and forth. Then she pulled down a tweet. Uh, she had to correct it, actually, mm. uh, on Instagram, what she puts so as the caption. saying that she was the one that inadvertently let it out there like she made a mistake she no, put it I, out there see that. if you're in this industry then you would understand I, as soon as i saw it and people started talking about some like okay so why are people thinking this way you should know that so when it comes to celebrities they love to do these so things fans, right no the thing is well so that you can think that they are well up there up and okay, they are associating with because there are so many celebrities even in nigeria they don't mm. invite them to events to and events. they go to they get clothes from stylists yeah. they go to the events they mm. don't enter but if they can actually get to the red carpet they red take carpet pictures and, and send to bloggers and then uh, you see them top uh, uh, 10 uh, um, well-dressed people, people this, that, 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 and then you're getting <laughs> all of this attention because it's a big deal. So the caption is always very important. Okay, so but the point was that, she, like that she put it out that she was invited by the president, which wasn't the case. She came for the Arise Fashion Week. And then, perchance, the governor of Lagos State just said, okay, this is a nice chance, let's make it happen. But then she was doing quite well. She went to visit uh, the, the yeah, kids, the dancers. Dream catchers. Dream catchers, uh, yes. Okay, the Korodu exactly. kids, beautiful, and they danced. And she also went to the market. I saw she was fascinated by this little kid named Femi, mm. or you called Femi, and uh, it was so beautiful. She's been enjoying herself. And you know that she has an Nigerian boyfriend, Skepta. Sure, so, sure, sure. So, of course, sure, that's her. Sure, they, sure. They're just having a good time. All right. So, uh, big, sh uh, big shout out to her, by the way. And let's stop putting out those kind of stories out there about her being an uh. All right, but then moving on from that, now Brimo is making waves and that's hey yeah, that <laughs> video. Actually, I personally feel that uh, that was a great video. Work of art. I feel that video was cool. <laughs> but then there's been, there's been a lot of backlash and I think that's what he wanted. He wanted people to talk about it uh, because oh, now there's more or less like you can't understand Brimo's uh, he's genius, he has a genius mind and all of that. So I think that Brimo actually wanted people to talk about it. Plus, Brimo is a bunch of talents that is. Brimo is brilliant when it comes to music. A lot okay. of people have been debating this, especially when it comes all out to say that like I'm the best artist in Nigeria. And be like, like, what are you talking about? So I put his picture with Casper's picture side by side and I wanted people to talk to me about mm. this nudity. So he has come all out to, to explain to people that this is just art and he He's talking about a bushman in a civilized environment like if you look around the environment you see that uh, you know all of these things that you're supposed to see so people are saying that why do you have to explain to them um, or go this far he wasn't uh, for a guy i think it was only his butt chicks apart from his butt chicks every other thing is what a guy i mean a guy would want to show his torso i think it was then, just being you know, creative I, I, after all I personally think yeah, it was cool. But, it was but there is no how people would not talk. I mean, <laughs> this generation would always find something to but, say. But you know, but you know, the, the, the question has been that okay, because it's a guy, it's being called art by some people. If it was a lady, you would have called her trash or something like that. 
But he was being called out, so as a guy, if he was being called out, the environment for a lady. I mean, for a lady. Be called out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on from that, of course, the Black China is in the news, and it was quite interesting. I don't know if it's for good reason or bad reason. Okay, What's it about? with a boyfriend, because every time you see her now, you see her with her 18 year old boyfriend, and she's 29. Young enough to be our son. YBN <laughs> Almighty J. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, she was actually in the news again for uh, trying to fight a woman mm. who was touching the hand of a baby, baby. Uh, dream. And people have been talking, and the Kardashians too have been talking. Kardashians and I have an angle to it, especially. I would have thought that that woman uh, was a Nigerian because in Nigeria, people don't even know that you have to have this etiquette of not touching other people. You other have to babies. tell them, take permission before you touch other people's babies. They don't get it. People don't get it most mm. times. So when they say that, oh, she's trying to fight and you say you, you start seeing it in a bad light, like, okay, she's a tout or that's how she's ill behaved or something. I don't think so. You, you don't just touch people's babies. I, mm. Because in Nigeria, we are carried away. Way and you're like, oh, oh yeah. fine girl, fine girl, fine girl, and then you're touching the <laughs> cheeks and all that. <laughs> well, finally, let's just mention this DMX, he's in jail again, and we said to jail again. What's the issue with DMX? Okay, so we talked about this here, and this mm. is a developing story. Now he has gone to jail for one year for not oh, paying yeah. tax wow. or for tax evasion for over 10 years. Wow. Now, uh, is the judge called him a good man, but not a perfect man. Of course, nobody is perfect. And no, now, perfect. he's a lawyer, was trying to convince the judge so that he wouldn't go to jail. And so he played one of his songs <laughs> to the judge, and guess what's the it, that did not change the judge's mind. You know what happens now, like, <laughs> this, gist, this gist is going to be very nice. You should follow your social media handle to get the complete gist. Yes, very you excited should. About this. But I have to put on now. mic, baby. Yes. <laughs> but we have to move now. Thank you very much. All right, thanks so All right. much for having me. It's still me. Wake Up Nigeria. Don't go nowhere. It's the second half of the show. We're coming right up. Well, hello there. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning after the long what? break. Yeah. The never-ending break since the Thursday. Long holiday. We're finally back at work today. It's Wake Up Nigeria, and of course, we're not here to play. Honestly, uh, we would rather... We really are not? No, we're not. Oh, okay. We, we don't play. <laughs> we, we work really hard to make sure we get you everything you need to, you know, to get through your day yeah. in the best way possible. All right. So, like we said earlier on the show... Kellogg's will be gifting 10 families this Easter season with a month's supply of uh, Kellogg's Corn Flakes and Cocoa Pops for a whole month. As in, you know, the way we're saying it, we're not really that, like, that excited, but this is how we, we're feeling in our minds. <gasps> One month supply of Kellogg's! Really, this is, is not this a ad? joke. Is this like an ad seriously, for you? no. Like one month supply. Do you know how anyway, much that so saves in my pocket? It's, it's no, the Kellogg's about this. Easter challenge. No, think about and this. Your kids will not have to pay for Kellogg's for one month. One. So hashtag beginning of, beginning of April Kellogg's to, Easter challenge to May. So April to May, we're yeah. going to be giving you all the Kellogg's that you need for your family. Right. <laughs> so it's very simple. What you need to do is to record a video of uh, you and your family singing a Kellogg's song. We already sung it like twice already on the adverts. A bit more on than the show. that. So, um, <laughs> and secondly, upload the video on Instagram using the hashtags Kellogg's Easter Challenge and also hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, copy TVC Connect in your responses. Now, if you're not following us, you're on your own. Let me just put it that yeah, way. Yeah, so make sure. <laughs> Make sure that on Instagram you're following um, TVC Connect. Get your friends and family to like the video. Very, very important because the uh, top, top 10 videos with the highest likes and views will be selected to have breakfast with us right here. And, of course, that will be on Friday, the 6th of April. And, of course, that's when they'll get to pick up their Kellogg's. All right. So don't forget also mm -hmm. that submission of entries will close this Wednesday. Yeah. That's tomorrow mm -hmm. at 2 p.m. So if you're going to do your video, make sure you do it. Uh, between today and tomorrow, so as you have about you just uh, just about 24 hours more. The kids are still on holiday, so it's it's easy to gather. The kids oh yeah, so gather everyone together, get that video done. So now, still to come on the show, we have uh, parenting uh, discussion with Izefua talking about sibling rivalry. We started that discussion last week. Yeah, you don't want to miss this one. Of course. And then, 
of course, we'll be getting up close and personal with singer Tosi Alao. We are definitely still in the Easter mood. Yeah, we're still like in that holiday. Yeah, mood. so we're still. Who is it? We. People are still dragging themselves. Okay, yes. Yeah. Why are you saying we? Or are you talking about generally or yourself? Okay, so the, the holiday feeling is, that is yeah. with everyone. Yeah. It's not Even though we're at work, we still feel a little more relaxed than that. on a normal day. So we're getting some uh, great responses from different families posting yeah. videos on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. For the hashtag. Kellogg's Easter challenge. Mm. So make sure that you keep that coming in over the next 24 hours. You know, there are a lot of people that like to do lastminute.com. Mm. You, you're waiting to the last day. Don't wait to the last day. Get you your video in now. Honestly. Oh, yeah. See what other people have done and then <laughs> exactly. try to outdo them. So yours will now be the best. That's good, I think. <laughs> that's I mean, good. Yeah. All right, it's so competition. Yeah, I saw a video last night and I, that's what I wanted I want to talk about. Um, a reception for two evicted housemates from Big Brother. Mm. And there, there was a limo. Okay. A limo that was sent there to pick them. You need to see how people came out. I don't have any problem with that. Mm. My point is that it, it underscores how important entertainment is, how, mm. you know, people will talk about it, but then they'll still go out. My point is that with this same exuberance with which the youth used to support this kind of thing, we should also push to support courses that will build the nation mm -hmm. so that next time they won't hold it in another country and they'll be welcoming them back that way. Right. right. You, That's you just have a for point me. there. I think it was actually a little bit overdone, if oh, you man. ask me. You need, you need to see how... Much. You need Especially to see how... Especially <laughs> since the, it's not like they, they, you know, made some interesting policy that would yeah. change the world <laughs> yeah. inside the house, oh, for discovery. goodness sake. They were, just they were inside very... In fact, somewhere. they were one kind uh, inside the house. I they were <laughs> one <laughs> kind. It's the headlines once again in the newspapers. Thank you so much, Mike. Starting with the cover of The Guardian. 29 killed in military uh, Boko Haram crossfire. UN condemns continued attacks on, civil, on civilians. Air Force plans fresh onslaught on terrorists. It also says here, Wankwo Kano, uh, Kanu joins presidential race promises to tackle corruption. It also says here, Hebrew matriarch Grace dies at age 77. PDP asks INEC to proscribe APC for campaigning with looted funds. Jonathan's ex-aide releases list of alleged corrupt APC members. List incomplete without Buhari or Shimbajo, Tinumbu, others. Uh, don't re-elect failed government, Obasanjo warns Nigerians. That's what it says on the cover of The Guardian. Uh, the cover of this day starts with the headline, PDP seeks APC's prescription, uh, looters list gets knocks. Again, Abbasanjo scores Buhari low, says he's failed Nigerians, and APC to inaugurate committee on Oyegun's extension plan. And finally, 29 killed, 83 injured in fresh suicide bomb attacks. Uh, all that's on uh, the cover of this day. The cover of the punch says Obasanjo attacks Buhari again, says he's a failure. You come in because you know there are challenges and then giving us an excuse that you have many challenges. That's why you haven't achieved results, he says. Smuggling, biggest challenge to local rice production, says federal government. Fayoshe's ex-deputy Raji Rasaki, uh, Bejide, defect from PDP to SDP. Death toll in Meduguri attack hits 25. Couples can use pension savings for joint mortgage loans, say Pencom. And um, Winnie Mandela dies at 81. On pages 7 and 8, more on that. Then finally, Nigerians suffering under your watch, PDP reps tell federal government. That's what we have on the cover of The Punch. All right. Well, that's about all we can take on the newspaper headlines for this Tuesday morning. Of course, the newspaper headlines are proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. All right, so we're heading on for a break now. And, of yeah. course, when we come back, is there for us going to be sitting on the couch yeah. talking about sibling rivalry, the discussion we started last week. Mm. Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Uh, Izefwa is in the studio. 
and uh, we're talking sibling rivalry, a sensitive topic for many parents because there's so many things that come into play. So how do you correct uh, right and wrong among children without sending a message of maybe favoritism? Mm -hmm. you know? um, how do you, you know, there are many more questions, of course, and it's been the bane of an ongoing discussion about how uh, sibling rivalry has affected families. And Izefwa is here this morning to pick up from where we left. Yes. Welcome back. Good to be back. <laughs> so um, the most common thing I can think of when it comes to sibling rivalry is the parents notice that their kids are fighting or their children are fighting a lot. Frequently so, sometimes. So uh, that's really when parents realize that there's probably some kind of rivalry going on. Mm -hmm. So I guess the question is why is it that children fight so much? So um, there are several reasons. I'll highlight a few. Um, the first I would like to mention is how parents or how the family resolves conflicts. Okay. So if you take a look at your family between you and your husband, you and your nanny, you and whoever constitutes the family, or even the children, a single child, when you take a look at how you manage challenging situations, you actually create a picture for children when they disagree, okay. how to manage their own conflicts. Okay. And this is so fundamental because a lot of times we step in and we think that sibling rivalry is about them and is isolated. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, because even the children are social beings and they are bound to disagree, mm -hmm. they actually begin to copy from how we interact when we're in conflicts. Okay. So that is one of the reasons why you see the, the bickering and the conflict in between children. Mm -hmm. If couples or whoever's within the family learn how to cooperate mm. in the midst of conflict or peaceful resolution of challenging situations, even when it comes to the behavior of a child, the children, we always say they are like sponges. Mm. You give to them a mirror, something to look at and then copy. So that's one. Okay. Um, okay, Is, you are going to list off another one? Yes, so the, okay. second, would, the second would be Children are consistently interpreting what goes on in their families and in themselves. What do I mean? Every human being, even the children in our families, they're, they're fighting for significance and belonging. They want to know, do I, how significant am I here? How and relevant. How relevant. How, and if we look at the Maslow's hierarchy, it is a fundamental need for us to feel I'm important, I'm valued, I'm worth being here. Okay. So when a child begins to perceive Fair unfairness, whether, whether it's from, it may not even be between the two children. Maybe a parent is treating or another person is treating the child consistently unfairly. Okay. That child begins to feel, I'm not important. You don't want me. I remember we've had a situation where one day my daughter packed her bag and said, I'm leaving this house. Wow. That's a very, you know, I'm in the midst of God. Before I'm you going get out, to that state. I'm going, I'm leaving mm. this house. So, and mm. for me, it's always important when you see behavior in children or, or in adults, we focus on the behavior like the siblings are fighting, so we intervene to stop the fight. But it's important we go underneath the iceberg. Okay. What is behind this behavior? Okay, so I, I want to create a scenario. Um, right. Something very common is uh, two children fighting for the TV remote control. Okay. Maybe one wants to watch one channel and the other wants to watch another channel. Yes. So um, you see the children fighting over the remote. Many parents will just go and take the remote away. Okay, so yes, of course, parents will go. So in truth, it depends on how you take it away. Okay. So in that situation, let's call it a one-off now. If it's just a one-off situation that happens, I could either say, would you guys decide who, who watches what first? Okay. You know, in all of our act of parenting, let's remember that we are using that situation to teach. It's not about the situation. Okay. It's about what you're teaching as a result of the situation. Okay. Yes, you want to resolve it. Or if it's causing so much fight, maybe they are hitting each other. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to take away the remote and say, when you both decide what you want to do, mm -hmm. then we can have the remote. So you're giving them back the power to choose. Okay, but at that point, both of them are screaming, oh, don't take the remote away, don't take the remote away. Oh, yes, of course, he's screaming, and it's okay to scream because they're hurting them doing that. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. There's... There's nothing wrong that you're feeling the pain mm. of me taking it away. But I must be mindful that I am not taking sides with, no, you sit down, your brother, you have to watch this. No, you're fighting. You both want to watch it and your needs are valid. Okay. I recognize that. Mm. However, we have to learn that there are peaceful ways to have what we want. So if I say to you, 
um, both of you decide what you want to watch, and yes. then you're not coming to that. Yeah. I take away the remote until when you decide what you want to watch, then we can have the remote. And a lot of times you find them immediately going, okay, you watch this and I'll watch this after okay. you. Can I watch this? Okay, so they yeah. begin to agree. All right, but yes, then begin to I, I want to, I want to go to, to what you said earlier. You said something about being physical. Yes. So there are a lot of children who physically, you know, hurt siblings. Yes. Um, and I'm thinking even if it's just a, an issue of the remote control, you know, once they realize mommy is coming to take the remote away, they could throw the remote control. They could hit the other child. Um, yes. in, in reaction to you taking the remote away? Yes, so of course hitting, hitting is not acceptable, the rules are clear. Mm -hmm. So you hit the other child, I'm not going to hit you back because when I hit you back, I'm saying to you it's okay to hit, okay. which is where I always say that. But you hit the other child back, immediately I'm going to my intervention, I'm not taking sight about the TV program, mm -hmm. but I'm going to intervene and say to you, I'm sorry, you don't hit your sister because you want to, that behavior is not acceptable. But I am not going to say because you hit your sister, then your sister gets to watch her own program. Okay. Because that's not really the issue. All right. Hitting your sister, you could hit her for any or your brother for any other reason. I've heard this come from parents before. Oh, your brother hit you. Okay, you two hit him back. I've heard that quite a few times. A lot. And my question always is, what are you teaching? Okay. What? So if you say, if I say, you hit your brother back. Mm. As a parent, what did I teach you to do? How did I teach you? Let's remember that. Our children, especially younger children, they are still growing in social skills. They don't know what, sometimes you think they know totally. Mm. Parents, oh yes, they know they're doing it deliberately. They, they do, okay, so when I mean social skills, they do not even know how to self-regulate. Mm. For you to hit someone, we call it an emotional hijack. At that time, all you want to do is either fight, flee or freeze. Okay. So you chose fight as your typical response, particularly fighting is a response within the family, unfortunately, mm. right? You chose to fight. It's my responsibility to notice that this child is still growing and lacking in this skill. So how do I teach that child to calm down when they are upset? So um, on, on the other hand, for many uh, fathers with their sons, it's like teaching the child to uh, defend themselves. You know, that whole masculinity, be macho, so you're a man. So hurting masculinity. Well, I've heard it before, you know, that the children might end up being in some environments where they have to defend themselves. And if they don't know how to respond to an attack. So then your sibling becomes the... The punching the bag. The punching bag to learn mm -hmm. how to defend an attack. It's just the same way as saying, you know, a lot of times we don't look at it. I use, the, I use marriage as an example. Would you say because you want to learn to defend yourself, you slap your wife? Mm. So that if another guy outside tries to mm. hurt you, you've learned how to. Mm. Really, we don't even look at the world, the pain and the fighting and all of that. Mm. Let us think back, how, our, how, how did we learn to become this way, to hurt mm. and not to care, to lack empathy, to lack compassion? Mm. How did we get mm. this way? Mm. Uh, I, I want to go towards um, si sibling rivalry and bullying Yes. now. Because um, there, there has internationally, there's this issue of bullying going on in schools. Uh, people, you know, uh, children going to school in fear that they're not going to eat their lunch, that they're not going to go home with their shoes, that they're going to get wounded or, you know, uh, by the time they come back home. Uh, and sadly, you know, siblings, sibling rivalry also seems to be one of the foundational causes of this. Yeah, and when you look at that, it's easy for us to look and imagine that it is because of the children, that is why. But like I always say, a lot of times how we intervene make them bullies or victims. Okay. You know, we have this thing we do, and I think that a lot of older children find themselves under a lot of pressure, where you are in a situation, a fight, you are not there as a parent, you step in and immediately the attack goes to the older one. Okay. Do you not realize that you are the, you're older and then me, well, sometimes the younger one is the bully was up to some much mischief mm. so how we intervene we should not take sides when you take sides you create bullies and victims the child that consistently and we should this is very important mm. we need to recognize our patterns by that i mean sometimes notice whose child whose side are you always on mm. okay a lot of times you find there is a particular child that somewhere in your subconscious you believe is the troublemaker, whether you're there or not, mm. and you keep taking sides with the other one. Mm. So who, th that, that person feels that I'm the victim, and the other one knows it and knows that okay. I have mom's control. So they go out there, so that's one angle. But right. the subject of bullying is beyond 
this, the rivalry. This, it's this, just one. If I, it's beyond this show right now. We can't get into it Absolutely. deeper than this right now. But of course, uh, you can always reach out to us on social media. Please tweet to us at TVC Connect with the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Tell us what you think about this issue of sibling rivalry. And of course, we have to go on a break right now. Thank you so much, Isa, for coming. Great to be here. All right. Uh, and when we come back, we'll be having a chat with Tosi Alao. Welcome back. Now, uh, Nigerian musician Tosin Alao has been in the music industry since 1996, believe it or not, and has uh, over the years proven his mettle as a vocalist with a difference. I figure that uh, you will agree with me if you watched his performance earlier on that uh, it's, he's always has this smooth flow and is very, very natural to him having been uh, so experienced over the years. And of course, he's joining us again for uh, some conversations here. How you doing, sir? I'm good, thank Good to you. see you. So it's been years. You, when, when we talk about um, versatility in music, um, you're one of those who, apart from your vocals, you also are able to um, handle the bass guitar and you know, other instruments as well. And of course, you know, some of the conversations that you were having just outside after your performance just now, you talked about success um, and how you know, to make an impact in, mm -hmm. in life. But let's even start from your background and how you started this whole journey for you? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me. It's a, it's, a, it's a great privilege. My background actually is basically church background. My dad is a pastor and my dad plays the piano. Mm. So I grew up seeing my dad playing the piano at, at the tender age of about five. Mm. So, and um, I picked it up bit by bit, bit by bit, bit by bit. Um, fortunately for me, I won't say unfortunately, music is all I've done, I've been doing all the days of my life. Wow. Yeah, I've never done anything. And, um, you know, I started playing in the church, you know, playing in the choir, doing all this until I took it a bit beyond church. Mm -hmm. And God has been so faithful. I've been playing professionally that I know, like since 1986. Wow. Yeah. yeah so know, not 96. So, no, it's 86. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes early 90, I had to go to school mm. to study a bit. You know, I went to Obafemi Aula University to, to do some studies because at times in life, you know, you need a bit of information to guide what you're doing and um, to expand what you're doing. Yeah. So, I mean, let's talk about uh, TTI Amy, the song that, you know, a lot of people have, talk, have talked about for a while. Yeah. Um, the fact that it's almost like you know, when you, when you look back and you say uh, f since 1986, that's over 30 years. Yeah. And that's like saying, look, it's like also like a futuristic song, looking like you know, the, for the rest of my life, this that's is what right. I'm going to be doing. That's right. So it's, it's really like music is the core of, of what you do and what has been driving you and, you know, that connection with God as well. Yeah. Actually, the song about Titi Aemi, it's, um, it's the present and the future, mm. you know, because what I want to do all the days of my life is first of all to dedicate my music and my talent to the giver of all talent, which is my maker. You know, so every days of my life, I will want to praise God, even though I want to bless people with my gift and everything. But that is what the song is all about. Because over the years, over these decades, God has been so faithful. He's seen me through, he's helped me through bad times and good times, you know what I mean? So that's, that's what brought about Titi Aimi. So every day, every day, I won't get tired of thanking God, mm. thanking him for what he's done for me. There are so many people that we've started together. Maybe they are not where I am, with due respect. Mm. There are so many people, they are, they, are not, they are no more, you know? So what I'm trying to say in essence, it's been God all the way, mm. and it will be God all the way. So talk to us about um, the spirit behind your music. Um, people talk about inspiration, maybe they listen to, uh, so for a gospel artist, maybe you, from way back, you yeah. listen to Don Moe and you listen to Ron Kenali, yeah. uh, because you know, when people like Ron Kenali, when you listen to them, the, the bass is always uh, what drives the music. That's when right. you, hear, you know, it's always that deep thing okay. that goes with the music. So it's not just about the lyrics. Mm. Once you listen to the song and you begin to dance, it's already, there's already something that flows with it. So talk to us about how you, connect with your own music as well? Well, first of all, because I'm an African and um, I'm proud to be an African and not an African in Nigeria. You know, I've been to several places and I discovered that the best place to be is Nigeria. You know, um, 
I am not going to change my identity, even though we travel to the Western world. Africa, we are, we are, we are, we are raised up, we are raised up in rhythm and melody. You know, rhythm is key in Africa. So, and I don't joke with rhythm in Africa. We don't joke with rhythm. Our rhythm is extremely unique everywhere in the world, you know. So, what drives me, first of all, is the rhythm. And when you talk about rhythm, you can't take bass guitar out of the rhythm. Mm. I actually started like, a, like from, from, like a, like from um, I started with a guitar, as a guitar player. Mm. But you know, so I like needed- a regular acoustic. That's right. But I needed something stronger and deep rooted. Mm. So I shift over to bass. So bass drives the music. Bass is the foundation and the pillar of the music. And bass actually, bass actually give harmonic movement. Yeah. The meaning yeah. of harmonic movement, the chord, chord patterns and everything. Yeah. So every other thing just every stands other thing. So on top of it. So if you yeah. remove bass out of music, the rhythm is dry. Mm. It's not, there's no foundation and everything. So actually what drives me mainly in music is the bass guitar. So I had to change from, from the guitar to the bass guitar because it's the foundation and the, and the backbone of the music. Yeah, and you know, when, when you were singing earlier on, I was like, okay, so he's just going to do everything that he's going to be doing with bass guitar, and it was quite impressive. Now, we're going to take uh, just a, a feel of some of your music now, and then I'll come back and uh, conclude this discussion. Elohim, I worship the Lord. Elohim. So when you listen to this kind of song, because you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm a, when I, when I think about songs and I listen, I also listen to the instruments as well. Like this is a full song. That's right. Like the, the song, the, the, the bass is driven by the bass and you can hear like the entire thing. All the instruments are coming to you. Yeah. And you can even hear all the other guitars as well. That's right. It has a little bit of funk from the 70s. That's right. It's a full song. Yeah, it's a fusion. Amazing. It's Amazing. a fusion, yeah. Amazing. So, um, so tell us about the, the whole process, all the people that you work with, usually when you go into the studio? Um, actually, because I'm a producer myself, but each time I'm trying to record, I needed somebody to redefine me, mm. so that it's not just only what I'm thinking, because it's very, very important to production. Yeah. So I've worked with Wally Oni. Wally Oni is a wonderful, one of the biggest producers that has come out of this part of the world. Mm. You know, I've worked with Wally Oni on this project. I actually feature, featured Nathaniel Bassi. Yeah. You know, he came and, and and did some wonderful things, wonderful lines to the music. Yeah, he's also, he, of course, a musician. As oh, well. it's it's, it's a powerful guy, music. wonderful guy, and honestly, I, I I give him respect. He carries grace and power. You know, I've worked with quite a number of people all over the years. Honestly, that if we start mentioning, yeah, you know, but um, I, I think I mean one of the things that let, we just head to the kitchen. Uh, there's breakfast going on there already. Uh, we want to find out. Just join us. Okay. One of the things that I also wanted to ask was you know, mentoring the next generation because it seems like most people just go to the studio, put stuff together on the computer, mm -hmm. and never really do the real music, like the, the real feel of the songs, yeah. like you're, you're hearing some of these things that we're hearing here, because uh, putting together those songs it can be a bit rare, mm. you know? Yeah. Thank you. Welcome, Thank boss. you. Thank you, Welcome. Titi. Please have a seat. All right. Yes. What, what did I do this time? I didn't bring my own guest. I think you should draw. Today I am the guest. Please drag okay. that there. No, but then, along with okay. Titi, you need to zip one in the house. So okay. So, yeah. All right, let's get Zephua in. Oh, Zephua? <laughs> yeah. Zephua. Oh. So, so Titi didn't bring her own guest. That's what I mean. Okay. <laughs> it's great to have you in the kitchen today. Wow. Very so well. you guys will stand while we sit. Yes, please. Oh yeah, you are a guest. So. Yes, take okay. a seat. But that looks so amazing. Can you see how good that looks? Yeah. How good does this thing look? It's fantastic. Chef Tina has done it again. 
Okay. Where's the chef? She's here. Yeah, so tell us what we have here. Food for the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and the soul as well. Yeah. Okay. And that's butter beans, by the way. Butter beans. Yeah. Butter beans, okay. What's sprinkled over the yam? Butter. Oh, butter. Butter oh, and uh, the greens? Green pepper. Green pepper. Yeah. Very nice. Amazing. Very nice. <laughs> Love the way it looks. Yes. I think our guests should be able to taste this now. <laughs> and wow. uh, we need another fork, I think. No, okay. Okay, have two forks. All right. all right, so while that is going on, we want to exactly. say a uh, big thank yeah. you Please to all ahead. our guests for joining us today. Mm. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much to Tosin Alao, to Zefwa, of course. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate you for thank coming you. by. Yeah, yeah. A big shout out to our friends at Homely NG for the kitchen accessories mm. and, of course, for last place nice. for styling our hair. Yeah, thank of course, you. Uh, the holidays are behind us and we're happy to uh, usher you to the beginning of a working week. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the Kellogg's Easter Challenge is still on till yes, tomorrow. Indeed. Of course. So make sure you uh, okay. upload the video of you I and did. your family singing the Kellogg song. Of course, uh, of course, ten families with families were going home with one month's supply of Kellogg's for their family. And of course, if you were one of the people on set during our Power Oil Fitness Challenge, uh, your carton of Power Oil is still waiting here for you. Yeah. You need to come <laughs> and pick it up before I decide to take it home. I'm sorry, I've been looking at it for two weeks. We need oil. Oil is expensive. Come pick it. Come no, no, pick no, up no, your no. oil. <laughs> All right, so we'll be back again tomorrow, Wednesday, 7 a.m. So Very how nice. do, what do you think? Don't forget. Very nice. Nice. Butter, butter, butter beans. Butter beans. Butter beans. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. What do you think? Super. All right. It's I'm pretending classic. like I know what butter beans is. <laughs> <laughs> is it not beans with butter on <laughs> <and> your <laughs> <beans>? <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.